Yeah. We want to spend some time right now talking about wigs. How do you pick them? That's why Jeanette Ewan is here and Bill Rowley is here. We want to talk about selection and color and cut. What are you looking for? I definitely are you looking for. I'm going to grab yeah. one and maybe let Bill start styling some on. I'm going to grab my favorite over here because she's a blondie. Um, <laughs> what you're looking for is really quality and comfort. It's the two things that go in hand in hand. We worked with Michael Sue at Continental Hair, who's been in the business, his family, not Michael, has been mm -hmm. in business for 40 years, and Michael mm -hmm. actually went through um, Hodgkin's, so he really understands what people are going through. That makes a big difference. So he has gone out of his way, um, all of his wigs are made specifically for his company, but this is what you want to look for when you're shopping for a wig, is you don't want a lot of seams here, Okay. you want it hand knotted. So there's not stitching because that's going to irritate your scalp. Your scalp's already sensitive already. You want it knotted, clean, comfortable, and designed to fit you. So what they'll do is they can either do a custom piece for you or adjust a cap to fit you so you don't get that sliding off when the man's touching you in the bar. Um, <laughs> what, no one wants that. No. What's great is we've got human hair, and you're looking for European virgin hair. It means it hasn't been colored before. Okay. So it's really soft, and what's great is you can style it, color it. The girls at, say, Continental the Salon that you're going to can do that. I should also mention a lot of the hospitals have um, great salon facilities in-house, like the Odette Cancer Center. The one that we're just having styled over here on Andrea Sorry. is Lovely. actually what's great is that's, an, uh, that's a not natural hair, but they've come out with this new fiber uh -huh. um, through this group called Transitions, which Michael's a member of, and they worked on it together, and it's actually got, Bill was explaining to me, it's got like cuticles actually in the hair, so it doesn't look like Barbie hair, it actually colors and reflects like natural hair. Bill, maybe you can... The only thing about synthetic hair is I guess you, you know, can't stick a curling iron in it. Actually, you can. You can use okay. medium heat. Yeah, so if you want to curl it, you can use Love medium it. heat. Stay away from really, really hot um, curling irons or flowers. Right. But a, a hot roller doesn't tend to get as hot. The one thing about this new artificial hair, it's not like the old Dynell wigs of the 60s, right? I'm going to get you this so oh, we can okay. hear you. It's, it's not like the old Dynell wigs of the 60s. This actually will feel nice against your skin. A couple things to keep in mind. If you want to wear a fringe, a wig has to be wefted for a fringe. Okay. So if, a, if you do get a friend's wig or you buy one and it's not meant to have one, if you cut a fringe, it's just going to go like this, <laughs> like a big old car hood. Right. Then you're always with the band um, trying to, to hold it down. Color is really important. Now, if you don't want to look like you're wearing a wig, obviously you're going to buy something, a color that you're used to wearing, but your skin tends to get a bit ashy with the, the chemo, right? right? So you can pump up the color a little bit. When I saw Karen's skin tone and this red wig, I, I just fell in love with this. Like, mm -hmm. like when, this all, when all that stuff grows back, I would definitely, you know, get you in the salon and, and do it this color. It's so good. It is good. Right? It's so, and you see, the, and the richness of, of this brown shade on Andrea, it really, it, it sparkles a lot. You must have a wig cut. It's, you can't just go into a store, plop it on your head. In fact, Andrea was saying this, this is one of the, the traveling sisterhood wigs, right? Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it started long, and yes. the woman who had it, Mary, originally oh, cut it several yeah. times. To, um, so people wouldn't know that she had a wig. It looked right. like she was going to the hairdresser. And, and then um, each woman that had it cut it a little bit to suit their style. Okay. And so, yes, it's been through quite a transformation. Fantastic. I love that story, and I love the fact that you now have another wig to add to your collection because Mary is donating hers. Also, uh, our friends at Dove want to pamper everyone in today's, office, in today's audience, so they've sent down gift certificates for a personal facial that's valued at $90. That's for all of you to enjoy. Enjoy that.